So this is our uh, 20th shit fic. And we have a Metroid thing. Yes, you see, uh, you know Prime 4 was delayed, so been hungry for some new Metroid goodness. And this might not be new, but it's new to me, and, uh, well, it, it better fucking be something, so... Well, I mean, this is the official story for Metroid Prime 4. That we're oh, covering. oh, wow. Spoiler mm -hmm. alert, okay? Okay, people? So, uh, the name for this is... Samus is my vegan mom. And she's got it going on. Yes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another episode of Shitfic Showcase. Uh, my, my name is Kevin Aaron. My parents were killed by space pirates, but I was adopted by Samus Aran. You may think that living with a galaxy's greatest bounty hunter as your mom would be cool, but it isn't. I was 14 years old, and I was on an isolated space colony where only Samus and I lived. I walked down the expanse of the chrome hallway, a, con a contrast to the void showing through the windows. A true scene from the future. Kevin felt uneasy being so close to the doom-inducing pit of outer space, and the quiet, cold, blank, white rooms reminded him of a hospital. He felt sick. He wanted to leave for a bit. He was in space where space things happened in space! Australia. Kevin! Called his mom. Yes, mom? Kevin yelled back. Even though I'm Kevin, so why is... Whatever. No, he... he no, no, fucking... Oh, okay, uh, so halfway through this paragraph right he here... He switched to a different he perspective switched, completely. Yeah, he, he, he changed fucking... He starts talking in the fucking third person. Yeah, he goes from first person to third person. This dumb shithead. <laughs> he couldn't see her, but the enclosed space of the facility carried sound, and their voices echoed well back and forth with each other. I need you to go to the store and buy me more vegan ice cream, she said. Kevin looked through the labyrinth of rooms for his mom while talking to her. Mom, there are no stores left, he said. What do you mean there are no stores left? She asked, irritably. <laughs> irritably. I am a table. <laughs> Samus takes off her helmet at the end of the first Metroid game, and it is a table. <gasps> It was a mystery all along. They said in the fucking instruction manual that it would be a dude, but who who would have thunk? Who, who were don't, playing as a table? Don't both gender the table. Yeah. Kevin opened up the door at random, as he had been doing, and found his room. Found his mom within. So, and, excuse and Kevin me. Open up a door at random as he had been doing. So he's just walking down the hallway, opening this door. What's in that? Nothing. Opening that door. What's in that? Nothing. I'd hate to be in a fucking public restroom with this guy. Mm -hmm. As soon as he sees those fucking stalls, he's like, ooh, more doors to open. Mm -hmm. What if there's a missile tank behind this one? <laughs> fucking, you're just an innocent man taking a shit, and someone blows open the door <laughs> of your fucking stall with a missile. <laughs> Damn it, no power bombs behind here, fuck! Get out of my hand, I cannot give you powers. <laughs> I am not a Chozo statue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're ever in a public restroom taking a shit, and then you suddenly hear the fucking beep, boop, beep, boop, 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 you better fucking get out of there. I would get out of there anyway, because yeah. that's annoying. Yeah. What do you mean there are no stores left, Kevin? She asks again. Salty. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. She asked again, softly this time, with a look of concern on her face. Kevin stepped forward, but stopped short when he noticed something. M -m Mom, have you been drinking again? Asked uh, Kevin. Sabbath hitting the booze. Through her fucking helmet. Asked Kevin, as a bottle of liquor rolled out from under his foot. <laughs> she caught the fucking power up that allows her to wear a beer hat. <laughs> <laughs> Over her helmet. <laughs> Who cares what I'm doing? Said Samus. Speech slurred. Said Samus speech slurred. Uh-huh. 
She had really let herself go after becoming a mother. Plus, she saw one of those McDonald's truth videos, and ever since then, she's become a vegan. Who <laughs> consumes only booze. <laughs> As such, she can't bring harm to any animals, allowing the space pirates to run rampant. That's why there were no grocery stores nearby. It's because the space pirates had conquered and destroyed most of the galaxy and its grocery stores. Mm-hmm. She lost her touch at genocide, that's for sure. Uh, Mom, you sure don't kill everything like you used to, dude. Man, it, it's a shame how far they've fallen. You know? Mom, I can't get you ice cream. The space pirates have control of all the resources. We only get what they give us in rations. We can't just go butt more, <laughs> said Kevin. We can't just go butt ass naked to the grocery store. We have to have some kind of clothing on. Even a loincloth over the face. Maybe a leaf? <laughs> said Kevin. Disappointment was evident in his voice as they had been through this bit many times. When she's drunk like this, she doesn't think logically. I have no idea how you're able to keep getting alcohol. Don't you think that's endangering us? Asked Kevin. <laughs> Fuck it, said Samus. Mom? Asked Kevin nervously. Ever since I had top of you, I went soft. I stopped bounty hunting, became vegan, and all the stupid ass mom shit. I'm sick of it! She announced, suddenly standing up from underneath her pile of booze. She's just not even a, in, like, in, in a, a bottle bean anymore. Bean bag. Yeah, not even in a fucking bottle anymore. It's just a pile of just free booze. Just. <laughs> just, just liquor in gelatin form. Yeah. And she's just <laughs> laying in it. Uh, is this the alcohol talking? Asked Kevin, still apprehensive about his mother's mental state. I've heard of jello shots, but that's ridiculous. Yeah. Would you fucking charge them up with the alcohol beam? That it's, yeah. It's way too potent. <laughs> she shoots the alcohol with the ice beam and then eats it. <laughs> Like a popsicle. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised she doesn't just, like, load a fucking bottle of booze in her arm cannon and just point it at her mouth all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like a high-pressure fire hose. Her head just blows off. <laughs> Sam is staggered out of the room, ignoring Kevin. Kevin followed her down the maze of halls. Where are we going? Where are you going, he asked. But she didn't say anything. They just progressed down an unfamiliar sequence of corridors until they arrived in a sealed room. Samus didn't even bother opening the door. She punched it down in a drunk fury. Okay. Excuse me, princess. Kevin said, starting to get a little scared. His mom went into the dark room. He waited for a couple minutes, wondering what was... Skadoosh! I, I, I too wonder what that is. That was the sound of a missile colliding with Kevin. His puny little paper mache toothpick body. Excuse me, paper match? Yes, his puny little paper match toothpick body was not chad enough to circumvent the sheer dynamism of the force being delivered to him. Well... You could just say the missile blew him up good, I tell you what. <laughs> I would I would have preferred that. Yeah, if this was Space Arlen. <laughs> Raw velocity beyond your conception saw through Kevin's flesh as kinetic energy converted into thermal energy, rapidly expanding into a reserve of incendiary material. Okay, fucking Bill Nye. <laughs> whose combustibility shook even the titanium foundation to a pitiful quiver. That was just the force of the impact. The warhead erupted like my ass after Taco Bell. A compressed jet stream of fire and smoke and fucking hell punctured through Kevin's body, boiling his blood into steam and melting his flesh and bone. The proximity of this was enough to disintegrate his skin as if it were dry straw, evaporating in an instant. As the flames stabbed through him, they were given sudden room to expand. Kevin's body registered the force and swelled like <laughs> Dig Dug shoved hose up his ass. Light peeking through his where his skin was stretched thin. 
The geyser of flames filling him pushed him to a point of terminal corpulence, popping his body like a fat tick. Blood sloshing everywhere, not even touching the ground before it became particles in the air. Man, I didn't know Carcass wrote songs about Metroid. <laughs> Like, if I, if I couldn't read ahead right now, I'd have expected this to be the rest of the fucking shit fake. Yeah. Unrestrained by Kevin's body, the explosion rocked the room. An orb of destruction grew from the point of impact and created a radius of incandescence whose restrictions were merely the walls surrounding it. Lava poured down from all around as the steel foundation gave in to the mighty flames and sank to the ground. The quaking explosion tore through the wall weakened by the blast as the smoke was sucked out into the void of space, along with charred shreds of Kevin's body. Samus stepped out. Sorry, Kevin, but you were the source of my weakness. Now I don't need you to get vegan ice cream for me. I'll get it myself, and I'll kill anyone to do so. Curse you, Ridley, <laughs> said Samus in her fully powered suit. Arm cannon still smoldering from a super missile she just launched. Wasting no time, Samus boarded her ship and took off. At the space pirate mother ship, Wrigley was sitting on his little bird perch because he's a bird and was perched on a thing like a bird. Perches on things. Yes, and he was about to eat the last Halo Top vegan ice cream in the universe whenever he felt a gust of wind raised past his ear violently. He turned to see what it was that flew past his head, violently, like a gust of wind. That was violent. And flew past his head. And saw his... Door? 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 The door! To his room was lodged on the walls behind him, smoking from where it was struck. Huh, well, that's bad for you. Huh, that's weird. How the hell did my door get on my wall? He thought in his head. <laughs> what is he? What is he? Fucking baldy. He thought. Ah, oh, that's weird. How <laughs> the hell did my door get in my wall? <laughs> he thought in your head. Actually, what he really thought was <laughs> squack, squack, squack. But I like to think he has human thoughts. But oh, wait a second. If my door is in my wall, doesn't that mean that somebody... Before Ridley could even turn around to see that Samus had broken into his room, she was already on top of him, prying open his mouth before turning into a morpho and dropping a, a hot duke <laughs> down his throat and closing a hot duke. <laughs> that new Duke Nukem game. <laughs> duke Nukem! <laughs> duke Nukem! You go on and duke him, dude. Mountain Duke! <laughs> Do the Duke. Squ squ s squawk? He muttered through his teeth as Samus was holding his mouth shut. The Duke went off inside of Ridley. The force was held back by his head and all deflected into his neck and below, where he just instantly exploded as his body puked blood and guts from every opening created draining him like a pot of al dente pasta, which is almost as delicious as the vegan ice cream Samus got. The end. Fiend. Fiend. Let's, uh, let's see what, let's see what, um, fanfiction.net thinks about this. What? That's the <laughs> only review. What? 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 Miles is cool, one, two, three. What? <laughs> what? I, I can't wait for fucking Metroid 5, man. This shit, this shit is intense. Like, you thought, if you thought Phase On was crazy, just wait till you get a load of vegan ice cream. It, it's gonna blow your mind. Literally.